Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm so excited. I'm Jennifer Rizzio and the founder of Soul Language. And I get to talk to Macy today, the beautiful unicorn of happiness and relationships. This woman is so freaking cool. Hello, Macy. Hi. And I get to talk to Jennifer, the witchy woman of the business of soul. So I love that we get to do this like dual interview and share the magic that's coming. I love it. And you know, your what I love about, you know, watching your posts and getting to know you is that I love that your relationship and what you teach people is really to have that relationship that is really resonates with them, mind, body, and spirit. It's like, I look at your posts and you and your husband are made for each other. It's like, if someone said, oh, who do we want to craft and mold and shape for Maisie? This is the guy that is that. And I know that hasn't always been the way of your life. So can you tell us a little bit about your journey of, you know, finding that mate? And then how do you support others in having that same amazing journey? Yeah, well, it's, I'm glad you're asking that because I was having this sort of like, you know, well, maybe you don't know. Um, But at times, there's like these moments where where I feel misunderstood about things. And one of the things that people always say to me is, oh, yes, you know, it's all about loving yourself, right? And um, first of all, anytime I hear words that are just overused, I just get annoyed. I will. So, <laughs> so, you know, you and I know, and since I've worked with you personally as a client, like really discovering the actual consciousness that comes from knowing yourself and honoring yourself and And being in the space of going, wow, I am all this. I am this and I am this. And this is what's occurring in this moment. So it was like this this awakening to, okay, what's going to work for me? And really being two feet in on that. And once I did that, it was like, a whole new galaxy opened, a different caliber of person was showing up and I met my person and it was so profound that it became my mission love that. in the world. I love that. And, you know, I remember the, mo- I remember, you know, the moment that Warner called for the second date and I was just, <clears throat> I was having the argument with myself, like, why is this guy like so annoying? He wants to date me and talk to me and he thinks I'm pretty and oh, so annoying. And I heard the divine go, oh, you know, you can make a choice. And I was like, oh, and the phone rang. And Warner's like, do you want to go out on a second date? And I went, oh. and he went, you know, you can choose. And I went, mother. I'm like, oh, this is the guy. Like, this is the guy. And I have to tell you that it really only came after really, as you say, really getting to know and not love all parts of me, but accept all parts of me. And I think so often we're trained, especially women, to fantasize, to um, coddle, to shape ourselves, to mold ourselves, to you know really kind of force ourselves into that Cinderella shoe. And I don't think those relationships last long term. And I also think that from from a type of woman that I am, which is a warrior woman, uh, I might smother the person eventually if I had to keep trying to fit myself into some idea that, that, and I, I actually remember a moment where I was dating this guy and I thought, I could smother him right now. Would Aaron come and help me cut up the body? Like I had a plan. Like, <laughs> Like it wasn't just, I mean, like I had a plan, right? So what, you know, where should an individual kind of, and I know you're so chock full of tools, where should an individual start in really pursuing that relationship of that quality, that, that forever person? How do we go about doing that if we've, you know, had the, the people in our lives where we wanted to smother? 
Yeah, well, there's a couple things. One, I truly believe, and this is not just because I'm a relationship and love coach and I help people with this. I really know that the healing, the transformation to receive a greater relationship starts with relationship. So being able to be in a setting where you get to be seen, you get to be acknowledged, and you have the facilitation to do that with yourself, therefore creating a different sensory experience in your body, being able to actually experience something different with yourself. And I even, I don't even use the words accept yourself anymore because there, to me, there's like this quality in that of, oh, well, there are these wrong things. I better get over it. Like, to me, that just wasn't going to work. So what really works is, okay, can I honor all of that? Can I be aware of it? Can I include it all and go, okay, if that wasn't actually wrong, because it's just sort of a societal and a thing that we've picked up along the way, like, oh, this is what beauty is. This is what a good relationship is. And look at your grandma. She did it, you know, whatever. Like all these interesting points of view about how we should do it, that it takes some, I love the warrior woman phrase because it is that like that warrior woman pioneer where you essentially are going at that part alone to say I'm going to choose me yeah I'm going to choose me and when you have someone in front of you going I dare you to choose you then um you know quantum you rise leaps. right you rise to the occasion quantum and, and, leaps yeah and, and I love that so my next question also because I don't even I'm curious about the answer and I don't know this answer is after after your client gets the relationship do they stay on because once I had that relationship with Warner that's when the shit hit the fan right Mm -hmm. that's when I was like oh what like oh I thought this was gonna be easy because now I have my I did it I did it and so so do they continue because that's also a whole area of work where you need that mirror, you need that supportive individual, you need someone who's gone through those ropes, you need that person to go, whoa, let's walk yourself off the ledge, you're in pain and programming, my verbiage. So do you work with clients as well after they get the relationship? Absolutely, because wrangling the unicorn is really just like the beginning of the journey. You know, there is three phases that is, as much as you can make this like structural, which, you know, it's kind of tricky in a lot of ways too, but like there is, okay, what's keeping me from receiving the greatest possible love and, and getting through the, the lies and the fears and all of the stuff that keeps you from that, like true awareness and consciousness. And then there's the dating from that space of, okay, what works for me and not getting swooped away by every drama and every um, thing that didn't work to make it a sad story. Like that takes another level of consciousness. And then you have your unicorn by your side and you're going, wow, this is so great. And then, yeah, you may hit a point, whether it's sooner or later, um, shit hits the fan these other things bubble up, we get more comfortable. And then some of these, these old habits, you know, peak their little puppet heads up. And um, for me, you know, I'm right with you. I'm right with you. Like, I felt like I was one day away from jail. You know, I, I threw a chair. It wasn't pretty. Like, it took learning skills, more skills. All of this is you know, skills. And that's what I love about what you're doing. I do want to keep coming back to both of these things because, you know, I'm in the relationship space, but it's, it's not 
one thing. I mean, relationship is everything. It's with you're your in business. relationship with everything on this planet, right? You're with your business, with money, and I know you touch on all of those things. And I think the faster people can recognize that we're not talking about okay, I'm going to address this one thing, and then this other thing, and then this other thing, like. When you are aware that the consciousness, the the business of soul, the relationships of soul, like all of the things that, you know, it all comes from the same space. So absolutely, you know, I learned sort of midway through my entrepreneur career that, yes, oh, wow, yeah, um, it doesn't quite end at, yay, I'm so excited for you that you found your person and I learned that a month later two months later a week later people were picking up the phone and, and saying oh my god what do I do with this and so that's why I extended my scope to include that with the person yeah and I think that's so important the way you do one thing is the way you do everything yeah. right and you know that's why I have so much content which is in the business of soul library is because I had a problem. So I created a tool. I had a challenge. Yes. So I created a tool. Like, like that's what I do. My first thing is going, okay, let's go inward. Well, I need a tool to do that. I need structure. So my mind can get on board with my soul. And, you know, it is true. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And the way that you're bringing consciousness to the relationship or pain and suffering you're bringing it into every aspect of the life it's just sometimes louder in one direction than the other and for me I need tools right and I also need you know those down and dirty things of like okay I'm freaking out I need to shift not to do spiritual bypass but because I don't like to suffer right and so yeah. right and so we need our tools. We need our support teams. We need that person who's going to hold the higher level of consciousness for us and go, hey, let's sit in the observer chair. Let's remember our tools. Let's talk about, you know, your life, your big struggle across the board, your big challenge across the board. And let's remember that in my verbiage that we're whole and complete. So I'm really excited to, to say that, you know, you're the relationship expert for the business of soul membership content library. I'm so glad about that because it's not my forte, right? Like I, I'm not the dating relationship expert. I'm the relationship with yourself expert. And I think <laughs> that it's important to get different points of view from different experts. So people can also hear things in different ways and a number of different times. So I'm so excited that you're going to be part of the library. So thank you. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so, it's like, um, you know, who doesn't want to show up in a space where you know that no matter what's occurring, that there is something that you can engage with to change it, you know? And it can be really that fast, don't you think? I mean, what's your experience with with tools? Like, yeah, I think I think it's extremely fast, you know. And I think that once you bring awareness to something, it's already changed. And so, yes, once, right. Once you focus and put a little more consciousness there, it can move very quickly. And for me, when I keep actively utilizing tools and different tools, because I'm a renegade, and I can outsmart myself, and I get bored. What happens is in my everyday life, I just have more awareness of what's pain and programming versus me. So I'll share an awareness because it's kind of relationship uh, kind of noticing. So, you know, Warner splits his time between my house and his parents' house, or our house and his parents' house. And uh, usually, like, the second day he's here, I get cranky, right? <laughs> and I'm, I was getting cranky. I was just like getting annoyed. And I suddenly realized like, oh, I'm not mad at him. I just have a lot of alone time and I like my alone time. And so now I've been with someone for 48 hours and I'm cranky because 
it's a lot. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to go for like, I'm going to walk the dog, which is great to have the dog. Right. So I walked the dog. I went out for 15 minutes, got some alone time. I came back and I was refreshed, but I have to tell you, Maisie, we've been dating in May for seven years. And I was like, oh, that's a weird, like, how come I didn't notice that before? Right. <laughs> right. That only comes because I'm doing other areas of consciousness and awareness that now I have the space to notice something or a pattern that I didn't notice before because I have a deeper sense of wholeness and completeness within. Oh so, right. So yeah. I think that's why it's so important to have those tools and to have those people and to have those experts. So you can have those leapfrog moments where we've done all the stuff, right. And so now you can kind of leap based on our knowledge and our experience rather than having to go through the same rope and the same pain. Yeah. I love that you shared that because I really get it in my own relationship too. It's, I mean, I, right now in my relationship with Larry, I mean, we've had all the, all the ups and downs and what I'm really grateful about this relationship with Larry is that I always know, I mean, up until now, it could change, but up until now, I've always recognized that, yes, like I adore him and I'm in it. Like I've chosen this. And I also know that at any time I can not choose it. So having that space, but also just in it, it's been like that too. It's the more we deepen, I just feel like right in this moment, we're in one of the greatest spaces we've been in. And it's only because of our, our choice to be conscious and present and continue to expand in that space of listening and connecting. And I guess the other point I want to make about that is that, you know, you and I as, as coaches, as teachers, as leaders in the fields of consciousness um, in all the different topics that we, we touch on, what I have noticed recently is that, you know, there can be this idea that, oh, then we are on top of our tools all the time, 24 seven. We never, we never forget that we have tools. I freaking forget that I have tools sometimes. And that's the part where, you know, having that like net, like, you and I have worked together. I've hired you multiple times and I will probably be hiring you after this interview. Um, <laughs> again, because I know that having this net and just having the space to be able to just kind of paint the picture of what's happening and having someone else contribute to me and say, you know what? Here, there, this, that, seeing the blind spots and and adding like that, the flavors that then, you know, bring a, a new picture. Ah, oh, man, is that fun? It's fun. It's huge. It's supportive. And, you know, I think so often we tend to hang out with people. Our friend base tends to be a lot like us, right? And so when you step out and when you secure other relationships and other connections that might be like-minded, but different energy. What happens is you start to see a situation from the 360 degree angle. And that allows you to go, oh, wait, I'm really making this that it's not, or, oh my God, look how unsupported I am. Or Ah, could have done that better, right? It allows you to take all of the judgment out of the game. And I think that's the hardest thing when you're in a relationship with anything is the judgment that you're bringing to it. You know, that kind of 
answering the question in your head, that kind of filling in the blanks for that individual or that money or that situation or that business. We tend to play the game of Mad Libs, not to our advantage, but to our disadvantage. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Right. And so when you have someone going, wait, uh, we're in that kind of pattern again, is that some, a choice you want to make? It allows you to disrupt the energy and choose something else. And that creates a whole new opening for you. And mm -hmm. it's a fun place to be. And I think so often, you know, we can weigh ourselves down with transformation and make it life and death. It's not, it's a game. And mm -hmm. so once you know the rules, you can play the game and you can kind of win to extend the metaphor and have fun at it. So mm -hmm. I am thrilled that um, you're going to be part of this. And, you know, I've, I've actually been looking for a relationship expert to be part of the community for some time. And I've really been I'm kind of a, a brat, everyone. I've been really like, oh, no, they're, they're not the, right. They're not conscious enough. I can see in between the lines, right? What I love about you is you're like me. You're consciously transparent, right? You don't have a poker face, which I love, right? <laughs> <clears throat> right? Everything is right there. And in doing that, what, what I've noticed about you is that there's this trust that people have in your community because you're not trying to be anything you're not and you're bringing your whole self to the game and on top of all that you want the best for everyone in your community not because it makes you feel good but because you really truly want the best right so the only skin that you have in the game is that you want them to be their highest self you're not in the game because it gives you some weird unconscious like hey i'm great and i'm a healer uh which is amazing and it's so um it's one of the the my most favorite things about you that and of course your hair <laughs> oh my gosh thank you for saying all that you're it's welcome. it's so you know i have this same amount of admiration for you. I'm amazed at how fast your work um, works. And so I can't wait to be in this. It's kind of like the mega mall of consciousness, what you've created. <laughs> totally going to quote you. I'm you know, totally it's like you. there's a food court, there's the department store, there's like all of these specialty stores, like really anything that you want, you can pick up there. I freaking love that. And I think that's an amazing place to end. So thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for the impact that you've had on my life and the life of your community. And, you know, thank you so much for always making me laugh you know, for, like always from your posts about your dogs. Oh my God, they're so cute. Right. To, I look at your posts with you and Larry and it just, it, it not only provides hope for others about what a relationship could be, it's actually a validation of when you're doing the consciousness work, how relationships work. And I think that's so important. So thank you so much. Yay! More love in the world. More love on the planet. No Yay. more chair throwing. Woo. No more chair throwing yeah. or pillow smothering. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, Bye, we don't need to meet in jail. Bye! Bye. <laughs>